A first of its kind retail center in Albuquerque is starting to take form. The shops are called Green Jeans, and they just made an exciting announcement. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson talked to the developer here. She joins us live near I 40 in Carlisle this morning. Good morning, Kirsten. Yeah, good morning, Todd Marissa. Now, while it might be hard to imagine now, uh, there's going to be large shipping containers sitting on a lot of this foundation that you see here. They're not going to be used for storage, rather, but for retail shops. And they're going to include one big name here in New Mexico. The dirt is moving. And that's created buzz around green jeans here in Albuquerque. There's been so many people talking about it. Roy Solomon created the shipping container community along I 40. These brand new renderings show the large containers stacked on top of each other. Solomon also announced the center's first tenant, Santa Fe Brewing Company. I think uh, we're offering some really great. Things on our side with having the common courtyard. They plan to open a tap room and beer garden. Solomon says he's close to bringing a number of different organic food vendors in. So it gives us the opportunity of bring, bringing all the local food in the community to us. But the shipping containers aren't just for building, they're also for growing. We are doing basil and we're doing different herbs and uh, trying even strawberries and tomatoes. And Solomon says it all fits into the sustainable living model Green Jeans is all about. Now, one of the most exciting parts about this center for Solomon is the location here. We are right near Interstate 40 and in Carlisle. He says, actually, that once the shipping containers are in here, he's going to build a 40-foot sign out of two shipping containers stacked on top of each other to let people know that those retail shops are here and are opened up. Reporting live in Northeast Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Very interesting. Thank you, Kirsten. Solomon hopes to open the retail center by Memorial Day.